What is necessary for a written and illustrated work to be copyrightable? And what is necessary for a similar work to infringe on the copyright? In the context of greeting cards, the Ninth Circuit considered the hallmarks of copyrightability and infringement in Roth greeting cards versus United Card Company. Both Roth and United designed, produced, and distributed greeting cards. Roth copyrighted all its cards. Roth documented its development process, from a scriptwriter composing the text to the creation of artwork and the card's layout. One card featured a drawing of a young child, and on the inside, the words, quote, I love you, unquote. Another depicted a child sitting on a curb, crying with the message, quote, I miss you already, unquote. The inside message continued, quote, and you haven't even left, unquote. Seven of United's cards were very similar to Roth's cards in text and design. United's president couldn't explain the company's creative process, but he did admit that he visited greeting card stores to see what was happening in the business. He and his staff purchased a number of Roth's cards to examine at the office. One of United's cards was identical to Roth's card except for minor color and style variations. And United also produced an I Miss You Already card bearing the same text but showing a weeping man instead. Roth sued United for copyright infringement. The district court found that Roth's artwork was copyrightable but that United's artwork, while similar, didn't infringe. And Roth's text consisted of common and ordinary English words and phrases that Roth didn't create and which were in the public domain before Roth first used them. The district court found for United, and Roth appealed to the Ninth Circuit.